Folks, Sunday afternoon, welcome to the Margu campaign, the B-side. We're glad to have you here. If this is your first time, hang on, because it gets a little bit rough from here, and it is for mature audiences only. So there's your second warning. Uh, don't blame us if you're offended. Thank us. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to buy cool crap like this flag, this sweatshirt, we're peddling everything. Uh, we even have a not safe for work women's underwear section now because we can. Uh, check out the links down below. We also have audio only podcast. If you don't want to see the money makers, that's fine. Uh, if you're in the market for some custom dice and who doesn't need more dice aside from Gornak the Mighty, uh, check out at Pirate Dog Dice. <laughs> Let them know what you want and uh, see if they've got time to make it. That's at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And also if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success and fun, try a little adventure sense in your life to spice up the aromatic imagery that you can go ahead and locate in your game. Uh, that's made by oddfishgames.com, who also make the Shine system. Uh, it's kind of like learning how to write like me, only gooder. Uh, check that out. And don't forget, they are currently working to get their Kickstarter uh, comply compliance and get all the stuff out to everybody who donated. If you donated like myself, please be patient. It's a coming. Like I said, today is Margu Campaign B with the addition of one other new player, new in quotes. Let's introduce you to the people who are going to make you laugh, cry, and think, why did I tune in to this? Uh, this can't be worse than the Steeler game. Yeah, it can. Uh, Frank Sr., the elder statesman, who are you and who do you play? I am Frank Sr., and I uh, am an old man. And I play Leon Sphinx. A Leonid Barbarian Extraordinaire. Aren't you poisoned? Yes, I am. <laughs> Not quite that extraordinary. Nobody either. seems to give a shit either. Oh, trust me. I do. I know I you do. I know I you're care. I know you're counting down. <laughs> Stop looking at the notes. Yeah. Uh, next up is AJ. AJ, same question, different answers. I am AJ, and I am playing Rolf, the Mountain Dwarf, who's going to spend a lot of time in the city spending all this coin that he's got in his pocket, fresh out of the caves with 20 gems. Let's see if I can hang on to him for the rest of the afternoon. Oh, I have a <laughs> Everyone feeling. says no. This wasn't it's just we don't, it's just, it it's just we audience. know what your reserve is like. And... <laughs> Uh, ne next up is Jason. Jason, uh, you have not been a member of the B-Side campaign until today. Who are you going to play, or do you want to keep that a secret for right now? Uh, I'll, I can keep that a secret right now, if you'd like. Sure. That is fine. Uh, we'll just go with vin Vanality? Vanality? How are we pronouncing it? Vanality Bean, yeah. There you go. Uh, we will find out more about his character here in just a few uh next up our youngest murder hobo sophia who are you who do you play i'm feel i am a fawn asmar and i'm a warlock my least favorite combination today i kill you today is the day uh today and dad murder. frank middle frank frank the second frank Frank. I'm just Frank. No, real I'm that Frank. That Frank. That Frank. I'm playing Barnum, <clears throat> the uh, mad cleric. He's got a little PTSD, a little bit too much combat. And, you know, there's some triggers out there. And he just. <laughs> a little too many psychedelics when he was young. Because well, the you military, know, he, was, he was a veteran, so the military tested drugs on him, obviously. Yes, L you could tell. L LSD. <laughs> I, I, I truly saw God in my visions. Mm -hmm. And 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 Ten sometimes I, I have trouble no. deciphering that's whether it's God two. talking to me or my mother. Constitution. I'll guess both, and I'm I have misplaced the chart, so I will depend on you for that oh, one. Thank God. I will uh, hold that chart. I have it. 
Last but certainly not least, our previous youngest member. Now he's just a nobody who rolls like crap. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> little Frankie, who are you? Who do you play? Hi, I'm Gornak the Mighty, the high roller of the group. Um, I am a barbarian, uh, the strongest out of all of us. A Leonin as well. Me, Me barbarian. We, we are the Leonin brothers. <laughs> Didn't you get butt slapped by a burrow last time? We don't need to talk about that. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, folks, these guys came <laughs> out from the Under Mountain <laughs> and uh, have landed in the city of Gents. Now, if you haven't seen any of the episodes, these guys were all members of the caravan trade, uh, but it got bought out. And the new owner operators of Garnet uh, Inc. Mining Company uh, have given the heave ho to all of the senior members because, of course, uh, they got paid a whole lot more and they hired a bunch of scabs like Kellogg almost did. Uh, these guys have uh, been thrown out of one city unceremoniously, gone out and found riches underneath the mountain in a serpentine temple, which they never found the serpentine temple, which was kind of fun. <clears throat> but they did fight a wyvern and survived, uh, except Leon is now poisoned by it. Uh, they've made their way to the city of Yintins, and that is where they are hanging out. When last we met about a month ago, uh, Barnum and Beal arranged a real estate deal, and they have purchased a Tudor-style house for the sum of 750 gold pieces, completely furnished. So that's a plus, and it's on the good side of the tracks. So yeah. that's nice. Uh, everybody else has gone about their own business, including Ralph who, if you're familiar with how AJ plays his characters, Ralph is no different. Uh, but uh, he's got a gal in every town. Unfortunately, he hasn't seen this town's gal, so he had to make do with who was available. They have found out after Ralph uh, traded his coin for gems that there is a faux gem dealer in town. There is a group of uh, <laughs> villains called the Orphans, that are shaking down slash extorting money from the business company. Uh, they found out that their uh, longtime friend and associate, legendary caravan guard Hamish, uh, was kind of planning a heist. Uh, and at some point in time, he saved the day and they're honoring him tomorrow afternoon. Woohoo! As a hero. Because why not? Uh, they've also found out that a Monopoly-style man called Monopoly, working for Garnet, wanted to purchase the real estate that Barnum <clears throat> used subterfuge to go ahead and get as he smacked the man's burrow along with all its luggage and sent it flying through town, where I believe it uh, made close, intimate, personal contact with Gornak the Mighty. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's see Leon Sphinx has come into possession after purchasing a mermaid dagger uh, if you follow Margu A you know the significance of that and why AJ's mad today uh, we will rejoin the groups as they are splintered uh, gentlemen and lady uh, it's getting to be dinner time I at last count have Barnum and Beale on the left side of town. Uh, let's go ahead and get a map up here for our folks at home <clears throat> at some point in time. Hey, well, there it is. Turn that lights on. So, this is the city that they are all in. It is called Yin Tints. Uh, over here is the color chart, which I need to work on a little bit. Uh, their purchase. Uh, is right here, this Lavender Beauty, the Tudor-style two-story house. Uh, over here in this gray section is where Gornak the Mighty is getting his hair and nails done because he was a little bit on the grubby side. Uh, Ralph the Dwarf here, uh, strangely enough, has landed in the pink area. Uh, you know, <laughs> we, we don't there's, need to go into that. There's nothing else to say. That's true. Uh, and Leon was last seen up here at this pawn shop, uh, getting some information as well as finding that beloved mermaid dagger. Uh, that being said, you guys went in multiple different directions. 
However, since this is on the caravan circuit, everybody roll Arcana checks to see if you remember where your favorite watering hole is. Arcana, my favorite. Natural six. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Starting off with the high rolls, baby. What, what did I hear a nine? That was a niner. Uh, well, you had four hours of vicious physical exertion. I'm amazed I can even stand up. Barnum, right? you're muted. <laughs> Barnum, muted. you're muted. You're muted. Oh. Muted to grandpa. 15. We were muted, remember that. No, were we? <laughs> oh, oh. 15, 18. Okay, Barnum, Beal, Leon, uh, you guys are getting hungry. You guys remember that uh, when you were doing the circuit, your favorite place was the trough. Uh, an eloquent name, not exactly four stars, but uh, it has a colorful crowd there and good food at reasonable prices. So you will assume the others will probably make their way at some point in time. Uh, Ralph, once you get your head on straight, you will probably remember. Uh, Gornak, you are yapping away with the human beauticians learning all about the ins and outs of the pending nuptials of none other than Ralph the Mountain Dwarf's favorite watery tart, Pollux Sorrel. Mm -hmm. uh, Gornak, oh. you, you find out that Pollux is getting married to a strange man in a strange hat with a monocle named Monopoly. Uh, he needs her last tra train card. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was working a little bit ago. <laughs> so, uh, but Gornak, uh, give me a D20. Let's see how pretty they make you. Oh my uh, God. They're going to make me worse, I <clears throat> bet you. 11. Okay. That's fair. Uh, mm -hmm. Ralph, give me another Arcana check as your stomach growls loudly. I look clean. <laughs> <laughs> a six. It's getting worse. Oh my god! Uh, you're gonna wander the town, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna wander the town. I'm gonna go into the town square, look around, see, see what's going on. Just wandering around. If I happen to bump into anybody from the party that I recognize, I will hook up with them. Sure. Uh, you will not, <laughs> because you are in the wrong spot. Uh, however, you do head into the main plaza. <clears throat> you see some construction going on uh, just up against the governmental building where the magistrate is. Uh, and you actually uh, notice the magistrate whom you've had periphery contact with. Uh, he's not your best friend. You know who he is. You've been on the circuit long enough. It's a small town. Uh, you recognize Torkel Chippen, and he is talking to a strange man wearing strange clothing, a top hat, wearing a monocle. Uh, the two are in deep discussion about something, and as you approach, they stop. Uh, Torkel. Randy, is it? Ralph. Ralph, that's right, Ralph. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, sorry to hear about your luck getting canned. Yeah, that's too bad. But you know, I'm I'm doing my own thing. I've met up with some other guys, and they're pretty cool. And we're on our own adventures now, so oh, I don't need them anymore. That is excellent. May I introduce uh, Monopoly? He uh, uh, he works nice to for Garnet. <laughs> that is a fancy hat you got there, fella. Why, thank you. I had an offer to buy it earlier today. You aren't looking to sell it again, are you? I am not looking to sell it. And right. actually, I, I must take my leave of you fine gentlemen. Uh, my betrothed and I are going out to eat. Uh, perhaps you know her. She is the beauty of the town, Pollux. <laughs> yeah, I know her. I have one question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, she's a very prominent person in the town. She's, she's beautiful. You're, I'm That's sure it. you two will be very happy together. <laughs> I see if the inside is sharp. It is not. Uh, Why? Well, thank you very much. She is. Uh, she. She is quite the beauty. 
Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, he leaves, and uh, the magistrate, Torkel, uh, points out, so uh, I must take my leave as well. I need to go eat dinner with the missus. I assume you'll be going over to the trough. Uh, yeah, sure. Just uh, point me in the direction again. I'm a little turned around. It's the... As soon as he says it, uh, you remember it's over here. Oh, I, I mean, that's right. We always ate at the trough. Great place right next to the uh, garrison. So, yeah, you head off that way. Uh, what is your one question, Gornak the Mighty? Muted. Isn't, isn't Pollock a fish? Like the word Pollux? Uh, yeah, Pollux. Pollux. Fish. Pollux. Okay. I was, that was the one question. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get done, they hand you a uh, copper mirror. You look at it, uh, they did an okay job. You know, you're clean. Your nails are trimmed nicely. Uh, now maybe you can get that date with Pollux. The fish, I see. That's right. Uh, the ladies point out that it is closing time and they need to eat. Give me another Arcana check. Got it. My high rolling Arcana. <clears throat> I put it. There it is. Didn't I heal with lesser restore, uh, less restoration. Didn't I he take care of you, Leon? Last time. I thought he. I you know. Now that I mentioned it, I think he did use her lesser restoration on me. I think he did too. I, yeah. I had forgotten. Yeah, All I right. did too. It's been so long since we played. I can't remember squat. You no, know, if you're just giving out healing, just say it. <laughs> What's your role, Gornak? Eleven. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You guys always used to eat at the trough. I go so, head there. Barnum, Beal, Leon, you guys all arrive at the trough. Uh, yeah. great, great minds think hey. alike. You go in. It is as rowdy as you recall. Uh, it, it is also packed because it is mealtime. Uh, who wants to roll against me to see if you can get a table? I will. Oh, yeah. You are, you oh, are, yeah. Gornak. <laughs> all right, what am I rolling? Sophia, yeah, you what, you, what do I roll? Straight up die 12. This one right there, honey. It's a roll. Let's see. We saw what Gornak rolled. Mm -hmm. I rolled a three. Well, it, you fumbled. So I rolled a three. I was better. And he went, I knew this. I rolled a two and you guys lost. You guys are going to have to go up by the bar. Uh, Leon, Barnum. I'm all right. I'm all right with the bar. Perception oh, check. Oh, Smart perception. Plus three. Natural 20. Gives me a 23. Barnum and Beal? It's a dice with 20 sides on it. Sometimes numbers. <clears throat> 13 for Beal. I'm sorry, what? 13 for Beal and 10 for me. Fair enough. Uh, Beal, you notice that a table should be opening up here in just a minute as people are finishing their meal. However, Leon, as you belly on up to the bar and begin your ordering phase, to your left, you see someone that you know as Venality Bean. Vanessa, hey. you got something to say? And, and who who is at the bar that I can see right now? Leon Sphinx. You, you recognize Leon, you recognize Barnum, and you recognize Beal. So hey. all three of them are at the bar. Okay. And and only one of them has seen me so far. I just want to make sure I've got just, to just me. Correct. Okay. I well, give you a big toothy grin. Say like, banality. Is that you? Oh, uh, so Venality is a, a fairly small halfling, so he's gonna jump up on the bar. And, and say, I've been looking for you. He's a very jolly halfling. Big smile on his face. I'm still with Garnet. I've just been sent by HR to find you guys and help you transition from your current position to a new job. Garnet takes care of its employees. Uh, <laughs> you can tell Garnet, kiss my hairy butt. No, no, no. We've arranged a relationship with Magistrate Chippen to give you guys good, solid work. It'll help transition. You'll get some new job skills. 
it'll be able to transition safely out of your previous employment with Garnet Incorporated into a new job with the magistrate. So you're going to say, by the way, uh, Leon, I, I've invested in this, this town. We yeah. now have a place to stay. We got a house now. No, I have a house. We have a house. You didn't pay for this house. I paid for this house. <laughs> I was there. She oh, used her back to, for you guys to sign. Yeah, she was the witness. I was there in spirit. Can I uh, move in as well? Yeah. Who are you? You're not around. <laughs> so uh, Bean is going to look at Barnum and Beale and say, perfect. Since you've invested in the town, this will make the transition easier because Magistrate Chippen has big visions for what this town could be. And he wants to set up a new integrated sewer system. There's only one small catch. The current catacombs that they're going to use for the sewage system need to be cleaned out. And that's where you guys come in. They're looking for sanitation engineers. Why does <laughs> all his characters sound like slimy car dealers, salesmen? I'm going to get out my, my brand new dolphin, silver dolphin dagger and start cleaning my nails. Mermaid. 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 Mermaid dagger, start cleaning my nails. So come here, Bean. Come over here come, a little closer. Over. Where He's I can, happy as where to I can talk to you. He walks right over. He has no qualms. He's a big smile on his face. What a great opportunity. That knife will come in really handy in the sewer. Well, if ever, ever there was anybody built to crawl through sewers, Bean, I think that'd be a halfling. Halflings certainly have their place. Unfortunately, I am with HR, so I'm not sure how much value I will be down in the sewers, but you well, being well, big, strong Leonid thing, yeah. furry, it should go well. Amen. I've heard poop doesn't stick to Leonid fur. That's, that is absolutely true. It does not, but I'm not a freaking Q-tip. I'm a oh, fighter. No, no, no. You're not a Q-tip, but you are another sanitary device, and that will come in handy as well when you're down in the sewer. Careful there. When you die, we'll use your when you die, we'll use your corpse to scrub walls. <laughs> Ralph Gornak, give me uh, perception checks. Perception. Hooray! That is a twenty-three. The only one I'll ever get. <laughs> Ralph, seventeen. Uh, both of you enter the trough, and you notice that Leon. Uh, Barnum and Beale are up at the bar, which is weird because the table just opened up, so they are just not paying attention. Leon is talking to someone. Ralph Gornak, give me an Arcana check. Let's see if I can roll anything good. 17. Ooh. A solid eight. <laughs> yeah, Gornak, you have no idea who Leon's talking to. Ralph... <laughs> You recognize HR. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab Gornak by the shoulder and whisper to him, "Look out! It's one of those people from HR from Garnet Inc. Don't let him see us." Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, fine, I'm gonna talk to him. You deal with HR. I'm gonna go hit the head right quick. No, I got this. I got uh, this. Do we notice that that table is empty now? Uh, well, you are given being the riot act. Uh, Barnum, Beale, I'll take perception checks from you. You do your first. Well, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, God. 25. Can you roll mine for me? Oof. Yeah. My bad rolls. My, it's going to be bad. 10. <laughs> Uh, Beale gets a hold of her mead. Barnum, you get a hold of yours. You notice that the table's opened up. You also notice that a diminutive halfling has joined your group. Uh, give me an arcana check if you recognize Venality as HR or not. Hey, are you? Are we just going to call you Mr. Bean? The entire I time? roll a 14. Be professional you, about it. You know that Venality is part of Garnet, but you don't know which division he is. Uh, he rolls a 16. She sure. doesn't see him, though. So. Oh, sorry, you didn't see shit. Love you, uh, you also well, you noticed, certainly didn't see it stuck to my fur. <laughs> you also notice Ralph is <laughs> headed towards the latrine, and Gornak has got that look on his face like he's got an idea. Brain blast, baby. Oh, Lord. 
I, I'm going to start <laughs> stepping towards that table. I saw, oh, slosh a little beer. Oh, sorry there, buddy. Uh, vanilla bean, walk on by. Wait, did you splash uh, beer on, on bean? You bumped into me. Oh, that did. Oh, bean. bean I wiped it off. Bean will apologize. He's a happy little halfling. He'll he'll say, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there." But it's so great to see you again, uh, Bean, Beal, and Barnum. I was just looking for you guys. Have I got a great opportunity with a new company to transition to? Have you seen Barnum? Uh, that's okay. and Ralph? Yeah, I'm also you know, looking for him. I have some I papers Gornack for them to sign. He was looking for you. You should go find him somewhere else. <clears throat> oh, there's a table right there. Why don't you guys sit down and take these papers and you can look them over while you're sitting there about the transition oh. to your new employment. Oh, okay. I got your papers. I'm going to walk away. <laughs> the papers uh -huh. magically reappear in your hand now that you have them. Oh, Bean, I wish I could say it was good to see you, <laughs> but it's not. Stay away from me, and I'm gonna turn around and head for the, the table. It, it, I'm gonna say something <laughs> I think Leon will appreciate. It pays very well. Money? Nah, I'm not cleaning <laughs> sewers for anybody. You know, I think I, Ralph could use some of those papers in the latrine. So they're not sewers yet. They're so just I'm, gonna stop. I'm gonna turn around and ask you what exactly is in these sewers. Well, we want to make sure that anything that could be in the, in the catacombs, because they're not sewers yet, they're going to be sewers eventually. But this is a good opportunity to make a little money helping the, the fine town of Yinsitz with uh, the the Majesty. Bean, Bean, stop, stop right there. If you don't want to do well, No, 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 no. You said make a little money. We don't work for a little money. Oh, excuse the euphemism. We I are a lot of money. We are professionals. Well, you're not really professionals yet because you just were unemployed. Oh, no, but we've, or, uh, but we've already been working. We're already doing quite I, well, thank you. I want to make, make it worth our while. Can I? Persu yeah, persuasion you can, roll? You can try and persuade, but he's going to get a counter roll. Of course, yeah. Uh, 17. Go ahead and uh, do persuasion roll as well, Leon. you got to uh, beat his 17. Mine's a plus three. 18 and three is 21. Uh, yeah, you aren't buying what he's selling because he uh -uh. hasn't given you a number yet. No, I haven't heard anything. You know, when you, when you want to talk real money, come see us. I'm going to head well, over to the table. If you could, so I can finish my charge because, you know, I have to make sure all the paperwork is done and the T's are crossed and the, the I's are dotted. Could you just sign off on the paperwork that says you're refusing no. the services provided? Absolutely by the not. Absolutely it's a really not. simple document. No, absolutely not. All right. Then, so you're not entitled to any further compensation at this point? Okay. I'd say okay I'm with me. i go to Barnum and Beale and point out that as citizens of the town, they're now obligated to provide a certain percent of work to the town in exchange for their residency. And at this time, <laughs> Magistrate Chippen has decided that that entails cleaning out the catacombs of oh, rats democracy, and thieves baby. that democracy. live within. That ain't no democracy. <laughs> that's government right there. That, that Capitalism, really is, baby. Man, that's, that's, that's way too real. Uh, Barnum, Beale, but uh, venality is correct as now landowners within the city. Uh, you have to give either a percentage of your money, uh, which is probably running low at this point, uh, or you will have to put in uh, civilized hours, aka volunteer work. I don't own anything in this town. That's true, Gornak. So, so I really don't owe anything to these people. I could just leave. Yeah, but you got to eat. I can all eat. Does that count as Ralph? Nah. You're, you were also done in the latrine. Everything worked out just fine. Uh, Did, do I, I see you. Ralph coming out of the latrine? Uh, give me a perception check. Is he, uh, uh, no, because Ralph went into the latrine. I wanted. I want a stealth roll. I went. I specifically went into the latrine <laughs> to avoid Mr. Bean. If, if I had an idea. If your stealth is higher than his perception, then Damn yes. It. I'm, I roll stealth at disadvantage because I'm wearing plate armor. I couldn't have said clank, that. Clank, 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 clank. So he's distracted going for Ralph now, right? Nine. Yeah. 
I got okay. ten. Out the door. <laughs> You're right. I'm gonna follow him. Ralph, Ralph, Ralph! I have some paperwork for you, Ralph, and a job opportunity. I mean, if he goes back in the bathroom, I'm going right in with him. Oh God! I, I it's a one. It's a close. single room. I bathroom. think, of course, that's where I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what's called a one point turn, where you basically spin on your heel and about face. Ralph, Ralph, I have a great opportunity. It's a job opportunity. It'll Son. make you, it'll get you out of the unemployment line. You know, you just fired us, right? Well, technically, we we exited you. We didn't fire. It's you. not firing. It's oh, unhiring. You exited us. Your bean I, counter word. Oh wait. Bean? Bean. Mr. Bean. Have I detected some similarity there? No. I, no there's, no there's, there's a couple of options for you here. Garnet, of course, is interested in your well-being, so we've arranged a transition opportunity with the, the, with the city, and it, it does pay well for a man of your stature who is very interested in, let's say, the finer things in life. Your interest in life? <laughs> no, no. No. Well, no, there may not. be a sign-on bonus if you convince your colleagues to join in. You could get no, no. of them. Yeah, I'm, it's got to be one hell of a bonus for me what to even number, think what, about. What number are you thinking of? We're it's just you and me inside this latrine. I don't I have a number behind my back. Yeah, somebody walks up the oh. door and hears him saying, "Well, for five hundred gold pieces." I'll do I'll go it. Go down there. I, I think it, uh, what's your number in the bathroom is not a good yeah, conversation. I, yeah, what's business. your price? Yeah. I'll clean your labyrinth for a 500. I'm not going to do business in a I'm not going to conduct business like this in a latrine. <laughs> Everybody stop for just a second. Barnum and Beale, you have made a hasty exit out of the trough. However, as you do so, you bump into Magistrate Torkel Chippen and his wife. <laughs> he initially excuses himself and points out, <laughs> I heard the good news. You are now full-blown citizens. Congratulations. Have you heard about the job opportunity that uh, Garnet HR has for you? It's quite well. Uh-huh. Yeah. I understand 1,800 gold pieces is a boon to anyone's services. Uh huh. Seems a little light to me. Agreed. Well, you can always take it up with Garnet Management, although I don't believe you left on good terms. Uh, they did. But no. Well, perhaps well. Hamish will take that job. I understand oh. that he is, pardon my French, a true hero. <laughs> if you'll oh. excuse us, uh, it is time for us to dine. Uh, as he opens the door, a mug of ale. Uh, cascades into the wood and sprays it everywhere. Uh, a jaunty tune has also started uh, from the upper balcony where some bards are playing. Leon, you are still in the bar. Gornak, you are still in the bar. Ralph and Venality, you are spending quality time in the latrine together. <laughs> what? Uh, well, somebody is there. beating on the door telling you to hurry the F up. So Venality will go ahead and use the latrine while he's in there, and then he'll exit. While talking, then. <laughs> yeah, I. If he's using the latrine while he's in here, I'm going to take that opportunity to make my. I getaway. think you better make a Constitution roll, <laughs> so he doesn't fall in the toilet. Me? So he oh yeah! Fall, so he doesn't uh, turn around. You got a halfling right named Venality in there I'm dumping sure. a load, son. You need to. I can. I, this is a bank oh, shot opportunity. Great. He's gonna rim shot it. Fifteen. <laughs> Make a poop while you're there. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you need to make? No, <laughs> no. I rolled a fifteen on that Constitution roll. Don't worry, Ralph. Leon, on. for you. I'm out the door. Fair enough. Uh, Venality, you do the bank shot. You have a nice high arc, nice clean stream. Everything is golden. Ish, when you when you come out, Gornak and Leon, are you guys still in the bar? Oh, I am. Okay. And I just I just saw Ralph come running out of the bathroom and Venality right behind him. What the hell is he doing now? Tying his drawstrings. I'm gonna yell across. I'm gonna yell across the bar to Ralph. Ralph, 
What were you two doing in there? Ralph, perception check at disadvantage because this place is loud and the uh, three heavily bearded individuals playing two guitars and a drum set are very loud. Seven. They're playing yeah. La Garage. You don't yeah, hear them. La Garage. La Garage. <laughs> I, I was thinking she's got legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, Ralph, uh, you can either go over to where everybody was going to eat or bail out the door. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to give them a piece of my mind for sicking this uh, finality on me. I'm pissed. Liz, Liz I'm sick pissed. on you. Uh, Gornak, are you also at the table with Leon or are you just uh, around? I, I, was, I was eating, so I was, I was okay. finishing my meal. Leon, uh, Ralph, yeah. Gornak, you guys are at the table eating. Barnum, Beal, where are you at? Outside trying to get these papers out of my hand. I can put them in my bag and see what happens. I'm burning them with my radiant fire. Don't I have a bag? Yeah, I'm sure you have a bag. But every time he puts them in there, they reappear until he signs off, I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, Finality. I'm sign, I'll sign up, them. Man. Finality Bean. <laughs> Does that work? Can you forge signatures for these? Uh, Finality, the papers magically appear, and you notice forgery. Uh, a, it says, says right on there, Barnum. Uh, Barnum is, name is written right on there. No, the, it's not. He signed signed the paperwork. Oh, look, he signed the paperwork. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it to Leon and Gornak are eating. I say I didn't sign shit. We didn't sign it. I signed. Now you say you signed it. A picture of a middle finger sticking up on it. This signed Barnum. He made his mark. Uh oh. Made his mark. No, no, it sounds mark. like he signed it. So Leon, Ralph, Gornak, uh, Venality has signed paperwork from your other two. Associates. Is there a lamp on this table? I uh, know the lamp's up top. No, that's too bad. Are you, you literate? You, you, you can lower the the rope, and I mean it's it's mood lighting. I, I, I can. I, 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 can I have an idea. I have an idea. I what I can do is you're gonna you're we're gonna go outside. You're gonna hold your hand flat like this since they're stuck on your hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna perfectly shoot an Elch blast that's gonna skim your hand. While whilst burning the papers, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, You're no, talking no. to somebody else, not me. <clears throat> yeah, Gornak. Gornak. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I, knock I, his hand out of my face. Whose hand, Gornak's? And tell you, Venality. Yeah, yeah, my hand was take. I'm talking to Gornak. I've, I'm looking at Gornak, and I'm saying, Gornak, I was told you're really the brains of the operation. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right. You're right. <laughs> Right. So listen, Correct. this job pays well. The team leader will get a bonus. You What's just bonus? have to put the team together. And listen, it's going to put the team leader is going to get paid 400 gold for this job. Mm. That's a lie. Mm, I see. And Vino is HR. He doesn't lie. HR doesn't lie. They don't mm. tell you the entire truth, but they don't lie. But they don't <laughs> lie. That's how. Got it. it. So, but the tax, is, the tax is 200, I, I guess. <laughs> There's no, there's, I can't speak to the tax. I'm not with the city. All right. All right. Um, uh, no, this, Frankie, but, he's, he's with the company that fired all of us and put us out of work. Yeah, right but here. when we wrote, but when we wrote, it wasn't, I wasn't angry at them, but I wasn't That's happy true. with them. I wasn't happy with them. I just didn't care. Oh, I understand. I totally understand. That's why I'm here trying to help you transition to permanent status work <clears throat> with the city itself. So, but now they want government job. Would I, get, would I get benefits with this with this job? You, I believe you could negotiate benefits with this job. I bet you could negotiate housing. Ah, then I'd be forced to. That's even better. Yeah, yeah, you'd be a fool if you try to sign anything. Besides, what? Since when can you read and write? True. Um, or, what or can I? I can I even read? I don't even no. know. That. No, yeah, I don't know if our characters are literate. The language is common and Leon leaning. That's my, those are my languages. Uh, Barnum and Beale, you are outside. You see a trio of angry gnomes stomping their way towards the trough, and they look at odd, even odd Beale. Uh, have you seen that damn magistrate? Uh oh, right inside the door, boys. Let me hold it open for you. 
They storm in. Leon, Ralph, Venality, Gornak, perception I'm, check. I'm going to give it a moment, and then I'm going to follow them in and do a little observation. Uh, 20, 22. Natural 20. Gornak? Uh, my eyes don't work. Performance or perception. It's so uh, a natural nine. What the hell? It's not. It's <laughs> no. uh, as, as he is conversing with Venality, Venality, Ralph, and Leon, you spot the trio of angry gnomes storm in, scan the area, lock in on uh, Torkel, Chippen, the magistrate, and proceed to rather brusquely push people out of the way to get to them. The three line up across from. Wait, Ravis aren't these gnomes? Wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I was just, I'm just trying to picture that, and it seems pretty hard. <laughs> well, when you put enough pressure on somebody's knee, they tend to move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, they began to verbally berate the magistrate. Now, again, everybody has to roll perception at disadvantage because the band is playing something from Back to the Future at this point in time. And the place is jumping. So it's very loud in here. Huh, and I got an un that was the one time I've got well, an un the one time I got an unnatural 20, a dirty 20. It was I got I got 12. I got well, same thing there. I had 12. Did you 12. say a disadvantage? Disadvantage. Six oh, you gotta roll it twice. Oh gosh. Well, it's already obvious that my 23. Did I get a 23? Was my disadvantage just obvious. Roll. Okay, just there you go. I got you, baby. No, it's you know it's gonna be good because it's, yeah. So it's a six. six. It's still six. So who's my high roll? Huh? Barnum. I Barnum, think. I wasn't it? Twenty-three. What'd you have, Ralph? Twelve. Uh, I had twelve. Barnum, yeah. you serendipitously, serendipitously, you sneak up We're on him, uh, and you overhear it. The gnomes are very upset about the decision to go into the catacombs. They are claiming uh, religious rights over it, and they tell the magistrate in no uncertain terms, there will be an angry mob if this investigation goes through and disturbs the valued remains of their people. Uh, as he, as the three continue to berate the uh, berate the magistrate, you discover that the gnomes were the indigenous people here in town, um, uh, and the caverns were apparently where they were buried at. I have, I have, I have a question for. Go ahead, Gornak. I have a question for Vanelli, Vanella for Vanella. I have a question for Vanella. <laughs> Vanella. Um, <laughs> Okay, so when we're in these so-called caverns, does that mean we could just clear it out as in we take what we would like and clear out everything that you do not want? I, I've been given no specific instructions, but it's my understanding that there's nothing of value inside the catacomb, so you can dispose of whatever you find or keep whatever you find. That is does that mean we can look right there? Does that mean we can look in every... So, uh, well, just to get to the point, does that mean we can grave rob? Since it is the catacombs. I have no information to the contrary at this time. At this time. Got it. Got it. <laughs> uh, let's say, I, I, I'm let's, say I, let's say I did. Would I be <laughs> under arrest at this point if I did? Even I'm gonna, after I've signed I don't believe the city um, holds any treaty specific to that population or uh, recognizes that the catacombs are currently a graveyard. Gornak, yeah, Gornak. Now listen. Our word has always been good enough. You don't have to sign anything. If he won't take your word, then it's not worth the trouble of you going to do oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. This, He's this calling is you. That deal. If you're not you don't, going to take you don't job, sign, I need you, you to don't, sign off. You don't sign anything. No, no. He doesn't have to sign to take the work. What Signing off have? is to say you won't accept the job, which means alleviates any further responsibility from Garnet Incorporated to help you with your transition. And we they've already it. cast us aside like an old rag. We don't sign shit. Mm. Oh, that's fine. They're under no further obligation, but I appreciate that opportunity. However, for but, me, but think people, about but think about the real estate opportunity. <laughs> However, as I said before, Gornak, it will pay plus finders keepers for anything you find in the category. Oh, okay. 
Ah, finders keepers. I wanted to dumb it down to something Gornak could pick up on here. <laughs> you have. It, it is. It's getting in there. I, I might sign it. No. Gornak? Jesus. What, <laughs> what, what about 500 gold? But it, it, and then the, the rest of the, of the payment would be divided among your team that goes with you into the, the catacombs, with the exception of, I believe, Barnum and Beale, who have to do this to offset their tax liability. I didn't sign it. Yes, yes. Either. How about... Oh, no. oh, now you don't own anything. Yeah, no, I <laughs> They're just at mine. <laughs> That's not my house. I my okay, house. how about... <laughs> how about 570, and then I'll do it. For me, myself. Me, myself. 570. Gold hey, Gornak, Gornak, it's Barnum. It's a big company. Hit, hit him up for 2,000. Yeah. Two, oh, maybe well, 600? 600. We'll start I, by starting off for 600. I will tell you what, Gornak, 600 for you as the team lead, and as then an additional 1,000 to divide up among all the rest of your colleagues who go with you into it, however you see fit. And I divide it however it is. Okay. That's up to you. It's then the I, I, I might just sign the contract. <laughs> okay. Now, you know, we're all sitting here listening to this. Yes, and, and he's giving you six hundred, and you think you're going to divvy up four hundred to the rest of us? No, no, it's a thousand. That, that shit ain't going to happen. Uh, it's, they said it, they it give is me a thousand, thousand. and oh. only two of you. Oh would yeah, be, two of you would uh, be there to take it because, of course, Farnham and Beal are now landowners and clearly mm -hmm. responsible for volunteer. Is this, they'd like is, to clean up shit. They, yes. they do have that choice. There is, is this money up coming. front, or is this after the job is done? Well, I, I think you can have a portion of it up front and the remaining after the job is complete. Okay. I'll spike out my nails and, and poke two holes in the paper and say, here, I signed it in Leonian. That's, that's your mark is your mark. You can put an X, you can lick the paper. That's the mark. So who's the rest of your team? Ah. Uh, well, I got Leon right here. Oh, I, I don't. Uh, I'm going to push him off. I said, I don't think I volunteered for that shit. And then there's Barnum and Beal outside who have to because it is their civic duty. And then Ralph, wherever he is, I don't even know where he is at this point. That's fine. I'll, I'll go fetch him. I, I'm sorry, but it's so evening right now, and I think we need to get our early me, start tomorrow. And even the magistrate said that I get. 1800 money up uh, i get 1800 for this the magistrate said i get 1800 for this job's not, not through the magistrate not not that uh i'm doing this for tax i do this for tax but i get paid for it or i'm gonna really feel my bardic roots and i'll burn this motherfucker down We are really typecast, aren't we? We do. We don't have so I've signed it. Uh, so, so Leon's already just gone. I, I'm guessing you've just left completely. He's walked out the door. I, I think Leon's still eating. I am eating. So, I'm shaking my head, shaking my head, okay. listening to Gornak. I'm going I'm to tell Gornak that um, the, the job is to really first thing in the first light tomorrow to get in there before it gets dark. You know, we, I mean, you'll be underground, but still you want to make sure anything that chases you out, shit has to get into the light. So just in case. So mm -hmm. really you want to go down there in the light. Would you like to show yeah. them the liability waiver? <laughs> it's multi-page novel that mm -hmm. is the liability waiver. It's, it's a scroll. It's, it's a scroll. It just goes all the way. He unrolls it. It rolls all the way yeah, out. The, the door. fine print on the document you sign says "Incorporate here by reference liability waiver." And I pull pull out okay. of this bag of holding this volume. Now nobody heard the gnomes. What the gnomes were saying, except who? Barnum. Barnum. Uh, that conversation has now finished. Barnum, you overheard. Don't you do it? I'm not telling you again. Uh, and the trio of gnomes storm out. Okay. I didn't hear this, right? I, I, I want to catch up nope, to the got gnomes. It. Okay. okay. They'll be outside, and they will be fuming mad. Boys, man. 
what the heck is going on? I, you guys are awfully mad. Huh? What is it to you? you? Oh. But, you know, as a man of the cloth, I respect all. I wish to do what I can. Goodwill amongst men and... A Merry Christmas oh. to you as well. Aren't you that crazy cleric? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think your friends are going to go down into the crypt. And if they do, I think they'll disturb the remains. Mm. Now, a pair like you might be able to steer them away from uh, disturbing stuff. And if that were to happen, we might be able to make it worth your while. I don't own real estate in this town, so it burns up fine with it. Really? Yeah, they're outside, so none of you guys hear this. Yeah. In what way? It would be fiscal compensation in the form of gemstones. Gemstones? <laughs> Yeah. We we have a, uh, a recent influx of gemstones uh, that would be suitable. Uh, we have a an inside man named uh, Major League. Jesus <laughs> Christ! I don't know about that. I don't deal with gems. Well, you, you you do not know about Major League. Only Leon and Ralph know about Major League. That's no, but the I do lab. know. But I think there's counterfeit gems circulating around in this town. We we know gems. They will not be counterfeit. I'm sure you do, but I really don't like working in gems. You're going to bring out your diamond tester from Walmart that you got? <clears throat> what would you like to be paid in? Oh, well. Money. You know, the gold is always good. Money. Gold it is. What kind but, of are we looking at? But, but one relic, one piece of holy matter, one piece of our forefathers comes out of there, null and void. What am Oops. I looking at? Gold mounts. D12 against me. I got to make sure you're. Uh... What are we on? Come on. On what? A die 12? Yep. Here we go. Oh my god. Two. 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 Uh re-roll. Ten. Go higher than a ten, father. Never happened. Never happened. <laughs> How about five hundred gold pieces each? Each? Each. But again. One item comes out of the holy crypts, deals off. You know, I, I, I think as one to keep everybody else from touching said items, there should be a little bit more compensation towards me than them. We're pretty sure that Hamish is coming in town, and a true hero would do it for the town. Yeah, a true hero. So, That's not us. anyways, a little compensation for, you know. That's their best offer. You lost the roll. A thousand, so you thousand stayed gold with pieces, me. 500 each. All right. That's fine. And, and none of the others know, including Venality. That's okay. Sounds like a deal. Okay. Uh, you are to keep an eye on them. You are to convince them not to disrupt the remains of our grandfathers. <laughs> Not to take anything, not to bring anything out of the catacombs. I wonder if the catacombs. Lie. The rest of it's fine, just the catacombs. Just the catacombs. It it will be clear by the markings on the wall what areas we are discussing. There'll be all sorts of foreign sigils, cartouches, shit like that. If there's anything else down in that tunnel system, I don't care. But if they disrupt, that's a problem. Okay. I wonder if they'll know if I just smack a pot off the table. Inside, you... Venality has Gornak, and he's reeling him in. Uh, Ralph, Leon, give me constitution rolls to see how your food is. Oh. What if you find a finger with a Band-Aid on it? 18. Oh, 12. Gornak, or Leon would still eat it. 
It's okay, Ralph, and it's really good, Leon. I love uh, it. Mm. Finality, you have, in principle, a deal with Gornak the Mighty. However, he has to determine who his crew is. Uh, Barnum and Beale, do you re-enter the tavern? Yes, I do. Yeah. Everybody is inside the trough. Uh, Barnum, Beale, you see Gornak uh, the Mighty pretending to read the prolific... <laughs> just pointing at random things. <laughs> I'm just pointing at random spots. Just mm, yes. Every every once in a while, putting the two holes in there. Uh, yes, he agrees. Uh, hey, Gornak, I, that's upside down. Uh, Apple Inc. <laughs> has the right to revoke uh, his internet history and give it to anybody else. Uh, his webcam is always to be on. Uh, everything is keystroke logged. So. Hi, China. How are you? <laughs> is my social credit up? You're. Uh, Fiscal scores are down. Oh, uh, good. I'm going to get the, kidnapped now. <laughs> by the Russian mob. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barnum and Beale, would you like to try and persuade Ralph and Leon, who are just stuffing their face? And finally, Ralph is starting to look like he has some kind of fluid in his body. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a hot afternoon. Oh, yeah, it's yes. looking awful greasy. Here. I sweat it all over. with this. Now, and Venality is happy. He's got himself a... a Patsy. A Patsy's a rube, the word. Yeah, rube, Patsy, sucker. Uh, but uh, he also knows that you, Barnum and Beale, are under obligation as citizens. Good. Sign it. Don't need to sign it. Mrs. Goldberg would be very happy. I'm fine at home. Vanilla bean candle. Ralph, okay, Ralph, you got a little something on your chin. Wipe your chin off. I'm going to hand him some paper towels. It's dribbling down. Kind of looks like you're in the bathroom again. <laughs> he wiped it off. You too, Leon. You got some uh, schmutz. Leon's fine. Wipe your hands. Jesus, Disgusting. where'd they raise you? In the line, lying den? Actually, yeah. No, it was in the bar. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Now, I, I will say this. Yeah. Finality was not given a number, and it appears as though there are three suckers on the line. Ralph and Leon, if you two want to stay above ground and check out this Hamish bullshit, you may. Uh, so if you want to split the party, that is fine. Uh, however, we know better with the DM that we have. To split I'm, a party. You are safe within these non-walled safe. <laughs> yeah. Or are there walls? I forgot. There's walls. There was walls. 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 Yeah, there's walls. I don't trust his last statement either, then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I walk up to Ralph and just present to him that the deal I've made is so extraordinarily good? There, Vanilla. You could Ralph wiped it. his face with this piece of uh, paper. Is that a uh, mark? Gornak, Ralph and Leon have been listening the whole time. They know that you have made a deal for 600 They know with the remaining 1000 that only gives them 500 apiece. Yeah. And they're assuming Barnum and Beale are just screwed because they bought a house, which is fair. Yeah, but we bought a house. <laughs> Gornak. Did the way this no Gornak, if we go with you, then you give us fifty extra, so we get five hundred and fifty, and you only have five hundred. No, <laughs> we'll be here when you get back. How about we do? How about we do? How about, how about, how about, how about, how about wait, 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 wait? How about we do this? How about I give you guys twenty five extra, and then me seventy, and me, and me fifty. That's all. How right. about a hundred extra? Oh, I'll leave you right. 400. 200 extra. Yeah, we, we've been you drive a hard bar this for an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, I wish these assholes would just figure something out. Go get a drink, sweetheart. Thank you. Here's what we'll do you keep your 600, we'll take 500, and then we take 75% of anything that we find down there together. How about, how and about? you get 25%. All right. How now we want now we want even numbers. 40, 40, 20. 
Hmm. Okay, I see how this is going. How about let me present my business opportunity to you? Can can Venality hear the discussion? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we're, Doing we're right, right there. Yeah. Yeah. So let me present my business opportunity to you. Money all stays the same, but huh. half of the loot that that the entire group finds, half of it. No, not half. Three fourths of it goes to you two. I get the one. It's split. Excuse me. Uh, there's two other people in this party. You do not speak for us. You don't get anything. You're doing your civil duty. Uh, exactly. You're doing civil loot. duty. He didn't say the payment. He said the loot. You yeah. To, I'm gonna tell. To I'm gonna tell him. Well, here's the thing. Now. You don't Gornack. need to take any loot. It's fine. You Gornak, there's a lot of dead gnomes down there. Probably all got jewelry and shit on them. We're going to have to go through every one of them tombs to collect all that stuff. Yeah, but we got the entire day. It's 24 hours. You know that? It's 24 hours. I learned that in Neon School. Finality is going to pipe in in his cheerful sing-song voice and go, well, it is common for the leader of the group to get a slightly increased share of the total loot. So typically it'd be like 10 shares and then one share each for yeah. the other members. See, he is the smart one. He told me about this business. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He can run I'm going to look at I'm a, out there because I... I'm just saying. If I'm following that. SOB down there. I'm going to look at Venality. I'm going to say, well, Hamish ain't going with us, okay? I, I, I have I have nothing to do with who goes down in the sewers. I The, the team leader... Is I bad. think maybe you ought to go down with us. Well, typically, I don't do field work. Maybe you need to office, start. Office, office what HR? are you doing here now? Well, I I may have been... You even... Garnet Incorporated, and this is my last job. Uh, that's what I thought. So he doesn't even work for Garnet Incorporated. Oh, no, no. I currently work for Garnet Incorporated currently. Currently. This is his swan song. Yeah, swan song. Ralph, I'll take the 500. You take 500, and we'll take the lion's share of their loot. Oh. I liked it all except for that groan at the end. That didn't, I don't know what that was all that, about. That, that was a lion that Lynn had built. Mm -hmm. Okay. You if know you what? give me just a minute, just a minute, there'll be a linen fart coming too. You know what? That's fine. You can have that. We'll go with that. What? I didn't agree to that. Nope. You didn't. I, you don't. You, the you, thing is, you don't need to take any loot. That's your choice. This is your civic duty. You don't uh, get all right. When are, when are we going? Uh, tomorrow at daybreak. What What's going on? Is they're trying to screw? When up do we get the money? Uh, half up what? front. I'm, I was told. So I'm going to get a rest after. gold pieces, and we don't have to be out until tomorrow morning. Yes, that's up front. So, no oh, God, we know where he's going. Just, just to clarify, the the uh, group leader gets half of his money up front. How he divvies it up is up to him. Oh. He's not going to give that. I will. I will keep okay. all of our money safe. Don't you worry. You know uh, what? No, nah, I'll hold on. Well, I've changed my. Mind, I'm I'm gonna go get a manicure pedicure tomorrow. I won't have time for this shit. I'm gonna get up and head for the door. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Where are you going? I'm gonna head out. Uh, there's a, a one more pawn shop. I think I haven't been to. Mm -hmm. I will go with you. Okay. I'm going to my house. I thought. So is it just me and Vanilla at the bar? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, See, you can get swindled out of your pants now there, pretty boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot harder, you know. It takes a bit now, more. Now, Gordak, uh, looking around, uh, remember all those rookies that you saw when you went over to the barracks? Yep. Okay. <laughs> there are quite a few of them right here. They might be able to uh, bat their way into this job if you want to send them in. <laughs> Got it. All right. I am going to not stand up on a table, stand up on a chair. Vanilla is right next to me, I'm hoping. I, are you still there? Mm -hmm. Good. Sure. You could probably hold him under one arm. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to put get on a chair and put him next to me on another chair and say, I am looking for adventurers for a job that will pay 
quite well. What job? Clearing out. Is the, are the gnomes still here? Do the gnomes leave? Do I see there, any gnomes? There in are here? gnomes in here. Clearing out sewers to rebuild them. <sighs> hey, jackass, we don't have any sewers. <laughs> hey, more. <laughs> I knew that was coming. All right, we're uh, clearing out caves and empty places that we need to get rid of that are full of not good things that are disturbing the citizens, and we need to get rid of them very give fast. Me D, give me a D8. Die eight. Oh. 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 Two? Two individuals pipe up. I'm Ooh. game for some free loot. Uh, Barnum, Beal, perception checks. Ice. I got you. Perception for Beal shall be 13. Big numbers, big numbers. Perception for me, 17. Uh, Barnum, you notice that the three gnomes have reappeared and are pointing at Gornak. I'm outside. Oh, they, they ask you outside. Is everything okay? Yeah, that's not part of my party. That's not my... Those two? We don't know. Um, that guy is the, is, the, is the band breaking up, guys? That guy the band in there? Up. I don't know. Those don't two know. guys weren't weren't part of it. They don't want anything to do with it. That guy in there is not part of my group. This is our group right here. This is how it all falls apart. It's just we all group. slowly start to hate each other. I, I, I saw more. this on that thing you do. <laughs> just trying to figure out which one's going to Vegas and marrying the Playboy Bunny. Oh, never mind. Ralph's here. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, they remind uh, you. I will, a I will on the keep table. my party from messing with anything in there. Uh, no, it is anybody. No, you said my party. Yeah, those are your party members. That is not my party. That is not us. I, I, I am not getting paid by that company or that group. Ah, deal's off, then, if you aren't going in there. I'm going in, but I'm not part of that group. Mm -hmm. I'm, as a citizen, earning my tax break. Okay, fair enough. So I will make sure my party does not mess with your catacombs. Uh, Gornak and Vidality, there are two very, very brand new caravan guards. Venality, you are not holding a lot of hope that this is going to be successful. I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to take a moment to interview the two of them. Uh, <clears throat> run through a series of questions. You run across a turtle and desert on its back, kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn around and go. You know, Gornak, I just applied the beach comp test to these guys. I'm not sure they're all there. I. I really think you probably need your party members. Maybe you should try to convince them like one more time. I bet that Ralph guy, if you up the ante a little bit, I could, you know, out of my own pocket, maybe I could give you a little more cash to throw his way. If you, think you, you know what? Go. I think I got this. And and you know what? I, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to really, and this is uh, out of character. I, <laughs> I'm going to give bardic inspiration to uh, Gornak for his persuasion role to see if he's got a shot here. How much does that give me? An extra die six on it's not enough. It's it's not, not for, enough. Not for him. You have it. That brings you to a seven. Uh, not even a D one hundred. A D one hundred. I'd roll like five. So, roll it and see. You never know. It's a D one. I don't even know how to do and, it. And while he's doing that, I'm I'm Master uh, 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 Chippen is in here. Magistrate Chippen's in here, right? I'm going to talk to Magistrate Chippen. And here's what I'm going to tell him quietly. See, we're having some difficulty with the party members uh, to get them in there. I'm worried about the skill level, but I think we may be able to incentivize this workforce um, by um, having a word with all the prostitutes and gambling halls <laughs> in the city. <laughs> to shut the door I was, I was going to pay the him. Catacombs are clean. I, I so was wondering this what I would be brought up. Man, that's cold right there. That is cool. I, it's all about that's motivation. Good, that's good business right there. Oh yeah. And and as a bonus, once they're they're clean, one free night of debauchery, no holds bar. 
the magistrate's a businessman. He'll he'll go along with the company line. So Ralph's going to struggle fighting that one off, man. It, I, I, you're going to have to roll. That's like being a mad cleric. you got to roll to not take that. You know, this is really mean. He's got to work tomorrow, and you guys are going to give him nightmares. Oh, yeah. So okay. They just don't care, Ralph. Okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap Vanilla Bean on the shoulder and tell him I'm going to go find Ralph. Okay. You help with all you got this right from right here this you got time. it gornak you're got the it. man i'm gonna yes i am and i'm gonna go find ralph and you're try and pitch my idea. idea so leon you head off towards the pawn shop at the same time you do so ralph is with you ralph give me a perception check hi uh you do not see it but you hear the coy voice of a female. Why, that's the guy that was with Ashley today. I'm going to peer over my shoulder and see if I can uh, match a face to the voice. A pair of strumpets uh, come out of the alleyway. Strumpets? Is a strumpet a good thing or a bad thing? Are these people well, made of strumpets? It's, it, no, it's like a, yeah, it's like a trumpet uh, yeah. or a French horn. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead. Horror. I'll take a pass on my next comment. Uh, yeah, me one, too. <laughs> one is a seven. One is a sixteen. I'm so good. tell us, you're Ralph the heroic, are you not? Why, yes, I am. I've heard of you. Uh, Pollux speaks highly of you. Are you going to be in attendance at her bachelorette party? I yes, I am. When, what, the, uh, what the hell? Will you be there as well? Why, yes, but we were looking for someone as a guest of honor, so to speak. We have a large pastry that somebody needs to jump out of. I think I can assist with that. Oh. Beyond, <laughs> you, 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 you are hearing this diatribe. <laughs> Do you want to save him or let him burn? I'm just looking at him, just going to shake my head. I, the ship is already sinking. Might as well uh, set it Ralph, on fire. I'm just going to... Are you messed up? Wink. I don't you think get the hit. ship is sinking. I think you've taken too many shots to the head. <laughs> He's taking not enough. I got this. this I'm going to get, get out my mermaid daggers. You know, I can fix that for you, so it's not such a problem. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. I'll put my mermaid dagger away. Okay, so you guys are on this main drag here. Uh, the girls came out from by the shield smith, uh, where Gornat got polished, so to speak. Uh, which pawn shop did you want to go to? You've already been to this one. Yeah, I've been to that one. I think I've been to one at the uh, bottom. You, yeah, you got that one first. So the only other one is over there. I'll go there. Okay. Keep in mind, you only know Barnum and Beal have purchased a house. Yeah, you I don't, do not I, know where it's at. No, I don't know where it's at. Are we leaving Ralph to his carnal desires, or? Oh yeah, I'm not going in. I'm not going to the cat house, <laughs> even Fair though enough. I am one. Uh, I'll let Ralph know where I'm headed. Now I'm gonna tell him to watch his back and have fun. <laughs> Ralph, I'll meet you there shortly. Ralph doesn't Don't. care as the ladies are overjoyed at the fact that he will assist and give him nice rosy pecks on the cheek. That's <laughs> the least I could do. Barnum and Beale, you are around the corner outside of the tavern. Uh, you are at a main exit, uh, or you can head towards your house. Uh, my last thought was heading towards the house. Okay. So you are here next to the adjacent real estate opportunity. Your house is over here. So as you head down the main drag, multiple people, it's early evening. You notice a figure with two other figures going into an alley. Give me a perception check, please. Oh, my God. 
Twenty dirty. Deal. I got you, sweet geese. Thank you. I roll suck today. Beal is a three. Oh. Yeah, your roll suck. It's just your character. Is it my character? Uh, Beal, you see a subject known to you uh, in previous dealings, uh, and you exchange pleasantries to them. Uh, not best friends, just kind of friends. You know, hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm back in town. You know, I'm out of you know out of work, in between jobs, so to speak. Barnum, you, you kind of catch the gist of the blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you're pretty <laughs> sure that the short squat individual with the two flanking females, is probably somebody known to you, uh, probably Ralph, uh, but they move into the shadows rather quickly and subsequently disappear. Uh, you do not see Leon at this point in time. So, so I think I saw Ralph. She doesn't care. She's still uh, blah, blah, blah. You're useless. I know. Have you seen her roles? Inside the bar, Venality, the magistrate yes, makes start. sure that you understand in no uncertain terms this job needs to get done. So you take the idiot and whatever group he can gather and you get them underground. Yes, sir. Uh, I will make sure it gets happened, sir. Or this is literally the last job that you will ever have in this area. And again, sir, uh, with the proper requisition paperwork, you will shut down the adult and gambling establishments to at least one member of the party? Sure. Until the job is done? Yes. Okay. Do what it takes. <laughs> Time is going. Oh man! So, I'm hoping that he out. starts now. Come on, Gornak, Gornak. You you didn't like how Venality interviewed these guys, so you talked to them. They seem fine. <laughs> these these guys can hold a sword. They can hold a torch. There's nothing down there but a bunch of old dead bodies. Yeah, you know these guys are or warm bodies. How much do you want to offer them? To take the job, I have a thousand to offer. Done. Of them. What? Done. Whoa, 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 whoa! Finality. We'll jump in here. <laughs> Gornak, sir, listen. These guys are interns. They, they, they should. Oh, this is experience. Us. I, this I is heard experience. one thousand gold. I am in. <laughs> and then no, again, just make sure they sign an agreement that says we don't have to pay if they don't survive. Oh, so the plan is we when kill is the. <laughs> so the. Uh, I'm saying this. Accidents so, uh, happen in catacombs. I'm doing a stage whisper to him. So I'm saying. So do we kill them when we start to leave? No, 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 or... no. Now, no, now, Frankie, no you. Let me interject from that, Frankie. A stage whisper means they whisper it on stage, but you can hear it out in the audience. Exactly. Okay. I did not know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, uh, Venality, the good news is uh, your testing was quite spot on, and these guys are morons. All they can do is a thousand, a thousand. That's well, a thousand. I, I'm going to quickly r ruffle uh, through my, zeros, my man. Pack and find uh, the HR uh, uh, forms uh, CD 103 that uh, pretty much alleviates any liability for paying their heirs or inheritors. Sure, or is there a slash Wait a in there too? Yeah, <laughs> is that the is, is that the one you threw on me? So, no, no, that was a different one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's one. right. They don't, we, that's the, this not a sexual harassment one. This is uh, okay, no liability for characters. That's the HR slash seven, I believe. The sexual okay, harassment one is the one that Ralph okay. got. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And by the way, did you say it's thousand gold or a thousand? What What did they actually hear? Thousand. They heard a thousand. They heard. They heard, they heard a thousand, right? So not a thousand gold. Yeah, they heard a thousand. Okay, they heard a thousand. Perfect. They're each getting well, uh, a thousand. A thousand copper. something. A thousand, a thousand wood coppers. Yeah. Oh, they're in. They they are bought, sold, delighted. Perfect. Perfect. The interns uh, are in. How much is one gold worth exchanged to copper? One gold. Uh, one hundred copper, I think. One hundred copper. 
All right. So they're basically getting 10 gold each to get down there and they're die. Getting, they're, yeah, they're getting 10 gold. God, everybody's so set on them dying. Uh, we, we are. Why are we so set on giving them any gold? <laughs> well, because the whole point was. Jackass, they're offered it to them. Thousand something. Over a thousand. I was doing I, math this, this out loud. Is, I heard you know, earlier this town has lots Frank's of. magic. Gems. They might be the only ones that come out of this alive. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, Leon, you have successfully made it across the way. It's starting to get dark. You notice a lot of the shops are closed already. Give me uh, an investigation check, please. Oh, that's a number. 15. You just heard glass breaking. Uh oh. I heard glass breaking. I, I noticed where the sound came from. Pretty sure it came from an alley in between uh, a brothel and a uh, very nice Tudor-style two-story home. Axe is out. I'm going in the alley. You go into the alley, you find broken glass inside and outside. A side window of the Tudor house uh, has been damaged, and you hear scuffling inside the house. I'm going to look inside the house. Uh, you see shadowy figures moving about. Probably not a good idea, but hey, what the hell? I'm going to follow him in. You knew it's coming. Okay. Hey, hey guys, what are we looking for? Kill, I don't know. Me, I don't even know where I'm at. Give me a stealth check. <laughs> the thump, thump, the thump, thump. <laughs> So it's my dex plus. Yep. At disadvantage, it's a 19. Very good. Uh, you are careful when you enter. You don't step on any of the glass. And you're pretty sure the shadowy figures have not yeah. heard you. Speaking of shadowy figures, Ralph, uh, these two ladies are all over you. Cannot tell you how happy they are that you were doing this for their friend and yours, Pollux, uh, and they slip you in the back door of the bakery. <laughs> uh, uh, there, of the bakery. There are two more uh, females. I get this you... Sweeney Todd vision in my head, Ralph. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> Two more females whom you recognize. They are wearing aprons and covered in flour, and they're like, wow, it's Ralph. He's going to do this? Of course. Now, they're going to shove the roller. They're playing up your, his ego like a fiddle. They're going to shove the roller up your anus. That's, oh, they have, oh, they have moved dough uh, onto Frankie, this set of block. And they ask for you to lay atop this dough so they can turn you into a human croissant. As long as I'm not going in the oven. The but dough they, ain't baked, dummy. But they they want you to take off the plate mail because that would be disruptive. Jesus Christ. I, is this dwarf in a blanket? Is that what we would call this? Yeah, the, yes. <laughs> Well, it's we're talk about his personality as pig in a blanket. <laughs> I really do. I have to take off my plate mail. Can't you just build it around it? Well, you'll look lumpy, and we don't want that. Oh, but okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> they then proceed to wrap you in layers of raw dough. Now they are not going to put you in the oven. That would be horrific. Instead, they take uh, torches with cloth fabric soaked in oil and ignite them. And they just kind of wash you down with an egg wash and, and glaze it that way. Okay. Because obviously this is not going to be a finished product or anything. Uh, it's going to take about an hour where the entire time they're stroking your ego, telling you how wonderful you are, how great this is going to be, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and they are going to transport you to where the bachelorette party is. So in an hour, that's going to happen. Venality and Gornak, uh, you got two rubes in the group. Venality, uh, judging from what you got going, it looks like this is the best you're going to get. 
so far. Gornak, do you know where Barnum and Beale <clears throat> are living? Uh, do I? Nope, got it. Do you know where Ralph or Leon are living? Nope, we I didn't set up lodging. We didn't do anything. <laughs> they just got into town. Yeah, we just we got oh in, my god, we we've got been here like half a day. <laughs> yeah, we've only been here for like half a day, so we didn't do anything yet. So you caught us at like kind of a kind of an awkward time. Yeah, now vanilla half a day, and they bought a house. We've been propositioned by v v Vanilla Bean, and Ralph is basically a sausage McMuffin. He's a tart. Fidelity, I'll I'll let you roll Arcana for knowledge of real estate options. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Fair enough. Uh, okay, let's see. Where are we? Uh, Gornak, you've assembled your team, SEAL Team 3. Uh, when do you want to go down into the uh, not sewers? But caverns. Soon it will be SEAL Team Four with Ralph. Um, I'll tell the two people that we scrounged up that we're leaving at daybreak, and um, I'll tell them where to meet me, and I'll tell them to meet me in the square, in the in the central square, sir. Our swords are yours, sir. Sir. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, you are now free to go. Venality, your confidence in this plan is waning dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> you got to believe in the program. You got to believe <laughs> in the program. Venality, yeah. you, you already have lodging in town. Uh, you've heard he'll meet them at daybreak. Uh, the one thing that you are sure of is these two morons are going to be there at daybreak, if not sooner, ready to go for their thousand something. Uh, you can hang out with Gornak the Mighty, or you can go home, or you can look for the others. I want to look for Barnum and Beale because I've I've heard that they have property from the magistrate because they're on the hook. So sure. it, even if I don't know where they're at, if I see anyone in town. Um, Magistrate and his wife are still there. Then I, I'll approach them and ask if they know where Barnum and Beale's new property is. Hey, just Frank, why don't you just leave, let him know where the hell we are? <laughs> why, yes, they bought the property over by the Pink Pony. Ah. <laughs> and uh, do I know where that Pink Pony is or some general idea? Arcana? I'm not rolling well for the. Oh, uh, 21. Yeah, you know exactly where that is uh, because, uh, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Got it. For obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, I was there performing an HR uh, service. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going yeah. to go over to the house and uh, knock on the door if I see any lights on it and see if they'll, they'll open. Sure. Keeping in mind the time frame here is staggered. Uh, Barnum, Beal. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I, you, you do not know what the problem is with Gornak. You, you've got a long list, but you aren't really sure <laughs> which one is at the top. Uh, and as you get to your newfound lodging... Wait a minute. We were still... We were... She was gabbing, and I last I saw, I was watching somebody scurry away with Ralph. Correct. So I was wanting to... That It just looked weird, because it looked like they were dragging him off this way. So I Oh, was, it did not look like he was being drug off. Oh, it did. I, well, I'm just saying he was being, they were leading him off one way. So leading <laughs> leading would be a fair assessment. Uh, dragging, no, no, he's there. He did not dig in his heels at all. He was he, walking he on was, air. <laughs> yeah, he was getting led to the candy van. And you're smart enough, and you've been with Ralph long enough. And, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. The way it was described, it seemed a little suspicious, but that's oh, okay. It, it does, but then again, it's Ralph uh, walking into a dark alley with two ladies. I mean, you can go try and interrupt him. That's not a problem. Nope. If it's just seemed <clears throat> natural, then why would I actually do anything like that? Fair enough. So you guys, yes, please don't ahead. interrupt me. <laughs> we'll 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 continue back. Oh, I'm heading back. She's gabbing. She's her own entity to the house that she's either. 
paid into or not paid into? I was standing there, so. She, she can back. come with you because uh, it, it wasn't a close friend or anything like that. You guys arrive in front of your house. I'm going to need investigation checks from both of you. Let's oh, see if I can good. actually do good for once. Scroll down, honey. Investigation. You got a plus zero. Let's see how well you do. I'm going to. No, Frankie. Fail. No, Frankie. I'm going to Frankie. She Frankie. <laughs> he cursed me. She rolled a two. He's a jerk. He cursed me. Stop him with these. Why are you rolling better than me? 16. Poor Gornak. Feel, uh, you hear a strange noise, and from around the corner, a burrow that you kind of recognize uh, is just clomping through. The bags atop the burrow have opened, and a lot of personal items, such as clothing, are, are just hanging limply off the bridle and the tack. Uh, meanwhile, Barnum. You look into the windows, there's intruders in your house. At least three of them. Oh. Should I, should, I, should I roll to see if I snap into a mag? I think, I, I, I think you, well, you haven't been hit yet, so you can't. Okay. Is Barnum going to burn his own house down? <laughs> I would Maybe. not be a citizen at that point. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, no you be 700 down the drain. You oh, would no. still, you would own a worthless property, but you would still be a worth property owner. So, I'll yeah. I'll be taking over a giant golden property. I'm going in prepped here. Let me clear this out of the way. Owie. All right. And, and, and for no particular reason, Ralph, how many hit points do you have? <laughs> 26. Okay, fair enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Bartum. Go ahead and get into the croissant. All right, I'm heading in. Okay, uh, you go in. Give me an investigation check as Beal goes over and pets the jackass. Not Gornak, the actual physical jackass. 13. 13. Uh, you spy a single figure to your right. Uh, they are creeping along uh, and intent ahead of them. So away from you, ahead of them. Uh, the individual is creeping. Slowly he turns, step, step by, step. by step. Give me a stealth roll, Barnum. Four. I have to roll twice to Spanish. Leon, you hear a noise to your left. It is a hulking figure, but just a shadowy outline. These guys must have brought backup. <laughs> but can I smell him? Oh, yeah. Who can't? <laughs> uh, I, I will go ahead and take a perception. When you're crazy, you just don't shower. Uh, 18 and 3. Yeah, you 20, can smell 21. Him. So I would think that this would be somewhat familiar. Since they've been around a stinking bastard for the last week. Only Ralph and Gornak have hit the bath. So I'm going to freeze where I'm at and keep an eye on the new one that came in. I think that I might know him, but I'm going to hold and wait. Leon Barnum initiative. <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> uh, 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 15. I gave you my curse. I gave nice. You uh, Four. Barnum, you notice the individual that you were focused on has stopped. Leon, the individual you're keeping an eye on has stopped. A loud crash in the other room by the two figures that Leon saw initially is heard, followed by shouts and screaming and more glass breaking. Leon, your turn. You see the two figures zip around the corner out of your view. I'm going after the two that zipped around the corner. Barnum, you got a runner. Yep. <laughs> Chasing them down. Uh, this Leon, is like, a, this is like what a what episode of scooby doo what is your movement rate? Mine? Yeah. I think it's 35. 
What is hang on, yours? Hang on. Martin? 35 five, feet. Five less than his. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Leon, as you come around the corner, uh, does a 17 hit? Uh, yeah, 17 does hit. You get cracked in the face by a plate. My china! My crystal! My crystal! Two hit points of damage, and the two figures are right there. Leon, your turn, round two. And what can I tell what I'm looking at? I mean, I can see in the dark. It's not, young, not like I'm blind. Young humanish, maybe elven types. Yeah. Young thieves. A a a adolescent humans or elves. Tough okay. Mix. Thanks. I'm not going to. I think I'm going to do an unarmed strike sure. at the one that hit me with the plate. Sure. What is it to hit? I'm a plus seven to hit. So, yeah, 18. Easily. Punch him right in the snout. Right snout. Four. That's also a plus. Six points. Oh, he drops like a stone. Uh, Barnum, you rush around the corner. There are two figures now. Uh, do, you, just, do you have dark ah! vision? Do you have dark vision, Barnum? Yeah, probably right. not. No. Two I'm shadowy just, figures. One, just, on that. one is really tall. One is really tall. The other Thank one, not so much. One okay. is really tall and I'm one is really small. Not so much. I, I stand a chance. I'm just tackling, but I'm I'm going to try to tackle them not so much. Now you, you, so much. you will you will have to go past the big one, provoking an opportunity attack. Oh well, then I would attack. I would tackle the big one into the other one, like I'm trying to cannonball. Sure. Go, ahead, go ahead and hit. Use dexterity as your modifier. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, this thing is stout, and you just get a face full of ass. Uh, <laughs> the ass that poop don't stick to. Yeah. Uh, sure. But, but the the big thing with the butt on it uh, knows you're there. The diminutive individual or slight of build. Odd, you, 19 plus 2, 21, you get a mug right upside the head, and you sustain Eight. one hit point of damage, but Leon or Leon. you, Barnum, and now you roll for your apeshit roll uh, in just a moment. So get that table ready. Was there any doubt why he was throwing a cup at your ass? Once? Well, again, I, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> uh, Beal, go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh, okay. Lord. Okay. Let's not fail it. <laughs> perception. Right there. Okay. You know what happens when his character Ooh. gets hurt, don't you, Jason? Uh, 17. Uh, Beal, as you're stroking the burrow, you hear just a, a shitload of noise inside your new abode, and it sounds like there's a fight. My house. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna run in there. Give One me second. a give Keep me give me your initiative roll. Initiative, initiative. Oh, this is I'm scared. I'm not gonna get a good roll. Well, I'm not gonna fair run. enough. Like we on. This jackass in front of you almost hits you with a mug. His associate, perceived, uh, is going to bite you in the ass, I think. <laughs> but first, Ralph, uh, the Ralph tortilla is complete. Uh, the ladies <laughs> of them are, are putting a cream cheese concoction along, making it look very pretty, and, and dropping blueberries in it. I you think would. we should call that a Ralphito. Ooh, a Ralphito. Yeah, I'm doing Definitely. that. Definitely Ralphito. Ralphito. Uh, 
they then uh, kick the brakes loose on this oh, table, oh, oh. and the four of them uh, escort you out the back of the bakery, telling you how amazing you are. Now, finality, D12 against me to see where you fit in this timeline. If I awesome. win, you're going to be right there when it happens. If you win, you're going to be coming up just as Beal leaves the ass. What? what? Five. <laughs> the burrow, the ass, donkey. You arrive and spot the individual that you recognize, charge into the house where there is loud disturbance going on. So, Ralph, as they wheel you across the cobblestones and tell you uh, what a great idea this is and how amazing you are, you are just wedged into your Ralph Tito and you hear, hold it, ladies. <laughs> You recognize this voice as one of the sergeants that you didn't much care for that got promoted after you guys got canned. <laughs> <clears throat> and you can't really turn. Uh, so you are hearing a discussion about what is going on. The ladies simply explain that they are taking Ralph the hero over to the bachelorette party for Pollux. A voice with a strange accent pipes up. Why, do you mean my Pollux? I will not have any of these shenanigans. Who is this <laughs> hero type? Uh, and this individual wearing a monocle and a top hat leers over you as you start to struggle. <laughs> Two of his associates flank you on either side. The one that you recognize as a sergeant points out, I know this guy, he's worthless. He got canned from Garnet. This is Ralph, and he's no hero. The ladies try and stick up for you, but get pushed aside. The sergeant, one to two in your face, three to four ribs, five and six. I think you got a roll at advantage. He's wrapped yeah, up you in gotta a roll with advantage. Come, Come on. on now. You take two hit points of bludgeoning damage because your plate armor is back and it's real easy to hit you when you're stuck. Uh, you exhale. Ooh. Uh, Poor Ralph. What would you like to do? You can try and tear out of it with a strength check at disadvantage, or you may attempt to talk your way out of it. I'm going to attempt to talk my way out of it. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I. Uh... Here, let me do I'm just this. A patriot. I'm just let a me patriot. do this for you, Frank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, talk your way out of it with uh, Monopoly and his two goons. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, this is this is simply a joke for her bachelorette party. I was merely walking by, and they plucked me off the street. Where uh, Pollux is one of my old friends, she will think this is hilarious. Trust me. Persuasion. Red dice. Eleven. <laughs> 13 the sergeant decides to hit you again uh, <laughs> with an 18 on the die roll <laughs> just barely hitting him oops and it, you know what six 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 he's six. a murder hobo oh no <laughs> oh! one he punches you in the face for one hit point of damage. Hey, what's that for? Come Tells on. Monopoly that this guy is a noted philanderer and he's probably not wearing any clothes underneath this thing. The ladies go silent. 
Of course I'm wearing clothes. I wouldn't want to spoil the dough. It's Persuasion. just a joke. Persuasion again. Oh, come on. Just a prank, bro. Just Big red. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. 17. 16. Mm. Ladies, is he wearing any clothes under here? D12 against me, Ralph. I think Gornak got to roll that one. Ralph, D12. Oh, sorry. I thought <laughs> Gornak was rolling. 11. Oh, no, no, I would just see. Uh, yeah, 11. The ladies come to your defense. Uh, an argument ensues. Gordak, what are you doing? You're muted. muted. Uh, as you all heard, um, I was going to look for Ralph. Give so, me. I was walking me, the streets. <laughs> oh, good. Give me a D12. Well, six. One of your old antagonists uh, comes out of the bar drunk, fiddling with his pants. It would appear as though he's going to urinate in the street when he sees you. Well, well, well. Look at who's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I heard you lost your job because you're worthless. No, it's because they said I was too good at it. I don't think so. You were never really good at anything. That's what you think. I am good at lots of things. Like, you know, uh, I, already, I already know the answer because I listened to the last episode. Did you ever pick up your weapon? Nope, I did not. Nope, it is still at the shop. Uh, you have no weapon. Your shield is highly polished, though. Do you want to engage with this drunken lout and potentially start a fight? Or do you just want to blow him off and keep on going? Is he just on the side? Yeah, but he's walking towards you. You bet! I was, was going to say, okay, I'm going to tell him. If you can stare at that wall for just like five seconds, I'll be ready. Okay, and then we can do it. Then we can fight. You're on, pal. So he turns around and begins to stare at the wall. I'm going to walk away. <laughs> okay, he came out of this tavern right here. As you run away, you come out into the main plaza, and right about here, there is a cadaver table, four women and three men hovering around it, having an argument. I'm gonna go over there. You can continue on. I'm going to go over there and check out what it's about, see if I can ask where Ralph is. Sure. Uh, also, is Ralph's face too bloodied for me to identify him? I'm just going to walk past. Not yet. The women are trying to protect him as best they can. You do recognize the individual with the monocle and the top hat. Uh, and he, as you arrive, says... Hit him again. I don't think he's telling us the truth. The sergeant. Of course it's the truth. Of course it's the truth. Why would I lie to you, gentlemen? Let's the other guy take a swing. Oh, jeez. With a natural one, he punches one of the strumpets right in the face. <laughs> As luck would have it, you hear a familiar voice that sounds a lot like Gornak, only smarter. Say, hey, <laughs> what the hell's going on here? The uh, other three uh, ladies are not happy about their friend getting punched, and they jump this idiot who just hit her. Uh, <laughs> Gornak, as you walk up, it's a chick fight uh, with a dude. The monocle guy steps back. The burly guy that you haven't really seen yet steps back. It's three girls on one, and you notice a human tamale is on the cadaver board. Ralphito. Leon. You got one guy trying to bite you in the ass. You got another guy in front of you trying to hit you with a mug. What do you want to do? 
I'm going after the one in front of me first. Same Go thing. I'm going to punch him if I can hit him. Uh, 15 and 2, or uh, plus 7, 22. Oh, yeah, easily. 5. Uh, that is enough to put him down. Uh, uh, Barnum, uh, this guy who you had a face full of ass is just all over everything. I mean, this guy, this guy's going to be a handful because he just knocked out two people here. Maybe guards. I I I went mad. See, I think Barnum's trying to get fresh with me back here doing what he's doing and all. Not anymore. I went mad. And what are you gonna do? Uh the effect doesn't feel uh the effect it doesn't feel safe alone and will panic unless accompanied by another character. So I'm by myself and I'm freaking the hell out. The good news is you hear the front door slam open and you hear Neil <laughs> yell, Barnum. Barnum, are you okay? No! Unfortunately, right behind that voice, you hear, excuse me, I need a signature. <laughs> so I hear Beale's voice calling for Barnum. Yes. Okay. You have two knocked out thieves in here. Leon, you hear it. You recognize the ear piercing fingernails on chalkboard uh, voice of venality and Beal. Uh, give me an insight check to see if you can figure out, hey, I know uh, what that smell is now. Yeah, natural 20. Yeah, Barnum, you know. Barnum, what are you doing back there? Uh, Barnum, give me a perception check to see if you uh, can we do it Matt 20. Oh no. My you recognize that it's Leon. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> A little bit to the left there. <laughs> Venality, Farnham, Beal, Leon. You are all in the house. All right. So what 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 are you doing here? What's going on? This is my house. Your house? Yeah, what are you doing in my house? I heard these these two break the window and come. Well, I thought there was three of them. I heard the, the three of them. I heard the window break, and I looked in the window when I walked by and saw these three in here. I just came in to follow them, see what they were up to. Three, right? Two initially. Third one came in through the front door. Oh, okay. So there's still one that we haven't uh, dealt with yet. No, no I'm the, the third oh, Barnum, Barnum was a third one. Okay, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. And you, you were my third one. Yeah. So I let's see who they are. Somebody make a light. I thought he was your number I two. Make light. Yeah. Make yeah. Light. But that don't stick okay. to my fur. I can make a light. <laughs> she's all right. She make a light. Cast light at will. Because I'm weird. There are two individuals unconscious on the floor. They are no. wearing olive green vests and olive green pants. Uh, they are wearing cloth around their head with aisles cut out of it, robbers. Uh, and they both have bruising right here where Leon connected. Let's tie him down to a chair. You tie him down. Is there a basement or a cellar in this place? Oh, we're you, you, you just purchased it, so you have no idea what this place is. You know it's two stories up. You don't know if there's a cellar. Find a chair. Look around. Go find we'll go a cellar. Go yeah, find we'll go ahead and tie him up. You find the cellar. Okay, let's take him down a cellar. I don't want to get blood on my new floors. More blood on the new floor. Yeah, I know. Venality, uh, are you going to get signatures from these Yahoo's? or because I'm sure they're happy to see you. <laughs> I, I assume I, right now. I just assume Venality is sort of sitting in a cor dark corner, watching this all unfold. Sure. He's just uh, waiting. Never okay. smart because I've got plenty of rope. I heard signatures, but my mind wasn't focused on signatures. It's focused on why am I biting his ass and who the hell are these other people? Sure. <laughs> so you guys are going to drag these two unconscious dudes down below. Yep. yep. Tie them up. In the basement. Yeah. That's where we're drag is the word too. Sure. Ka -tum, ka -tum, ka -tum, ka -tum. Yep, all the oh. way down. Uh, Ralph, things are looking grim. Burrito boy. Uh, 
Yes, if I see Gornak, uh, Gornak's not there. Gornak's gone. <sighs> you see the three women coming to aid you. Yeah, I think it's time for me to get up. Give me a strength check at disadvantage. Six. Wow, you are going to be at their mercy. <laughs> oh boy! So Gornak, you Quit see the away. you see the Ralphitos seem to be moving around a little bit. You see three women on one guy, but none of them are Ralph yes. this time. There's the guy in the monocle and a beefy guy who you now are starting to remember who's kind of a jerk and the Ralphito. So give me an insight check to see if you recognize that the Ralphito is Ralph. Okay. Ah, a talking, a talking, a talking pastry. And I punch him. Hey! <laughs> 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 He can do it. He said it. He has to do it. Uh, no, I, was I was joking. Don't you know anything about oh, oh, oh. That's not how it works. Make him roll a six-sided dice. <laughs> I think he's got to roll a six-sided Car dice. Card played, card laid. See if Even if I did. Oh, oh man. Even rolled. if I did, I rolled an investigation of one. So. Oh, yeah. But, you got to hit that thing. Oh, yeah, hit, baby. Hit the Pop-Tart. <laughs> Casey 10. You, let's see, there's three girls, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guy, man, and then two others. So, uh, uh Mr. Monopoly will be number six. You hit one of the ladies, <laughs> a big roundhouse throw skips off of Ralph's chest and punches her right in the buttocks. <laughs> she does not appreciate that. And turns upon you. I'll uh, look back at Ralph and go, How dare you? <laughs> new round, yeah. Monopoly, and the sergeant. <clears throat> nah, they've had enough. They leave. The guy, 14 plus two, punches another lady ish. Murder Hobo knocks her. Out. <laughs> Gornak and Ralph, go ahead and give me uh, initiative rolls, please. All right. Oh, what's your initiative, Ralph? Fifteen. <laughs> it's you know, you, plus you zero, but I rolled an eighteen. So, Ralph, you you can try and talk your way out of it, or you can try and break free. I'm going to try and break free. You know, if you had a mermaid dagger in there, you could cut your way out. That's well, cool. yes, thank you. If uh, one of my party members were a little bit closer by, maybe I should have gone to the pawn shop. Is this still a disadvantage? Garnack, like use, a little bit of like a, a use your battle axe. For him trying to hit me. Still disadvantage. Use, use your battle axe to free him. Oh. It's a one. It's a one at disadvantage. You're pretty sure you just made it worse. Gornak, uh, uh, give me an arcana check. Or just make it perception. Uh, okay, that's actually better. Thank you for that. Or no, that was the wrong thing. It's this one. There hey, you did. There 17. You that's Ralph. <laughs> ah, uh, sorry. You look different in a pastry. Did you change there, your hair or something? Are, there are two females down. Get me out of here. Females attacking one guy and two guys taken off. Um, who were they? Who just left? The monocle guy and uh, somebody else that you think was, might have been a sergeant. Cool. And the woman baiter is still here? Yes. Got it. Kick his ass, you bass. <laughs> I, I don't think I can do that. That's, and and he got hit one out of two times. So he has a fat lip already. Ralph only dates the finest women. Come be oh. free, Gordak. Help me get uh, all right, I guess I'll cut him free. Well, uh, why did I say cut? I should have just said help me. Free. Yep. Roll, 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 roll cut, baby. Now you're attacking a pastry, so roll to attack. Okay, so does roll for my great axe? Uh, I have a great have axe. A great okay, axe. which one sounds better? A great axe, use a javelin, your fingers short and just bow. Lift me out of the dough. Elder, I can use my claws and just. There you, you go. Use, you oh, use no. your claws. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, it's either yeah. that. It's either that or a ja- it's either that or a battle axe or a javelin. I think the battle axe now sharpened. So the battle axe I don't even have. So it's that or a javelin. Oh, yeah. You can eat him. Yeah. You can eat him. No, you can eat the stuff right off him. Uh, don't eat. The I don't. It's off. uncooked. It's it's not good for you. It's yeah, it's not safe. Hey, well said. Sanitary. Well said. Use your claws. Yes, I'm going to shoot. Right up to twenty then. All right. One. Thirteen. Oh. It's not the greatest. Uh, Ralph, you are getting cut out. Uh, slowly but surely, because now Gornak is lamenting the fact that, you know, he just had his nails done. I know. Uh, How dare you? The ladies take another poke at this guy. Uh, Twelve and sixteen. They connect. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not fighting with these women. He has a shiner now, along with a fat lip. Uh, he is mad, so he takes another swing. 17. Five hit points. She goes down like a sack of wet shit. It's only him and this raven-haired individual who's really been dealing the beating down on him. Uh, new round. Ralph, you're now free. Uh, you're just in your standard clothing, covered in powder. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, if I, we are just outside of the bakery, correct? No, you are in. We're in the hall or the. Uh, you you are in the square. Oh, we're, we made it all the way to the square. Damn yeah, it! You're, you're right here. Where uh, was the like bakery? I'm fighting with my Dell armor on. Uh, the bakery was right here. Yeah, that's not too uh, far. I'll, I'll fight with my Dell armor on, but the first chance I get, I'm going back there to put my chainmail back on. Okay, take take a swing. He is now the Pillsbury Doughboy. All right, let's take a swing at this guy. Ugh, ten. Uh, ten is not good enough. Uh, now you have flour in your eye. Uh, oh, lovely. Gordak, uh, you lament the nice job that the beautician did on you. What do you? Can I like? Can I like kind of lick the pastry out and get it clean enough? Uh, sure. Is it? But wait, no, it was on sanitary. I'm gonna use another nail and kind of like use the back of it. Okay. Then I'll uh, attack the other guy. <laughs> uh, go ahead. All right. The thirteen. Not good uh. enough. Uh, the Raven esque beauty is up first with a one. Odd, she hits Ralph, even she hits Gornak. Jesus. How about odd? She threw, how about even she throws her fist? A 19, Ralph. Uh, she swings wildly, missing her attacker and popping you for one hit point. Uh, the individual, odd. Hits her back or even takes off running, having had enough. 14 runs for the hills. Ralph, Dornak, three <laughs> unconscious ladies, and one raven haired ass beater are all in the plaza. Leon, Barnum, Beal, Venality. Venality, are you going down in the cellar to watch this mess? I yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Venality leans up against the back uh, of the cellar, sits on a barrel, and watches these three try to extract information like a pissed off dentist. What would you three like to do with your two captives? <laughs> if they're going to be torturing somebody, I'm going to pull out my fiddle and play something really uh, appropriate to the environment. Devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> uh, Leonid went in the cellar. Okay. So what do you guys want to try and do? Oh, I'm going to ask them who they work for. Okay. That's the general line of question. Yeah, uh, to I'm start going with. To do a little bit of persuasion and let, you know, and pretty much, you know, I really need to know That's some information persuasion. or, you know, there's going to have to be some uh, pain. That's your persuasion. Fair enough. Oh, man. Maybe you should do this one day. No. Fine. I'll do my persuasion. Let me see. 
All right. So Bobby before Martin. we get to that, this is a good Bobby stopping Martin. point. Yes. <laughs> so, Frankie, what do you think? You're muted. I think I did great this time. I think my roles were on point. I signed a good deal um, that I got away with more money <laughs> with. Um, you haven't got away with shit yet. I'm liking my finger. <laughs> it's, it's just oh, it's it's all up from here, baby. It's all up. Little Frank. Uh, it was a little slow to start, only because you know, four jackasses trying to <laughs> negotiate with the crookedest car used car salesman out there. Oh no, kidding! And somehow we always get suckered in, forced in. So it's it's like it was like two Franks working together to hose you into what you don't want to do. But we were the, trying to gently guide you. <laughs> there was no yeah. gentle. That was hot pokers to the ass crack. <laughs> no, that was you and your dad. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, Bill, what'd you think? Better than. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you made a friend with a burrow. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. A friendly burrow. Yeah. Uh, like Jason, you. Jason, hey, what'd you think? I don't know what they're talking about. I'm not sure they were playing the same game. <laughs> I thought it was fantabulous. Oh, really? That's just because you're out of practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Russ, uh, uh, our human tortilla, what'd you think? <laughs> I had a good time. I really enjoyed Jason's portrayal of an H, a very happy-go-lucky HR person trying to coerce you into doing something you don't want to do. Come on, Tom Sawyer. Let's wash, we'll whitewash this fence together. It'll be fun. So you mean an HR person? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's an HR much. person. Yeah, it's an HR person. And it aptly, aptly named, I mean. Vanilla Bean? I uh, oh. Frank Senior, what you think? Venality, Frankie. Look it up. I believe it means corrupt, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does, yes. Frank Senior, uh, what'd you think? <laughs> well, when, when he showed up with that name, I knew we were screwed. Anyway, you look at her, somebody was going to be, and I guess we found out who. Yeah, it was but that means my head. It's going to be all of us because we can't let him go down there by himself. We're going to have to go with him. I got people who I'm going with, and Ralph. Yeah, yeah, that won't yeah. last very long. Yeah, that's not going to handle it. No. But, uh, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Mark Goo campaign. We hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as we did. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, go to the link. I think uh, t shirts are on sale for 10 bucks until tomorrow. Uh, if you want some custom dice, and uh, really, aside from little Frankie, Everybody needs dice. <laughs> uh, check out that Pilot Dog Dice on Twitter. And if you want to game, make your game smell better, check out oddfishgames.com for their adventure sense. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we will see you on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Uh, we hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Everybody, kiss and wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. <laughs>